is probably reason number 500,000 of why I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. And I'm fine with that. I don't want to do anything for you. I don't want to cook for you. I don't want to clean for you. I don't want to be your secretary and set your appointments and chase you around and make you go because of your health. I don't want to pick up your socks for you. I don't want to be one of those people who comes on TikToks and makes funny videos about how you can't do anything for yourself and men do the darndest things and everybody's in the comments like, yeah, my husband does that too. My boyfriend does that too. Fuck that. I want to be with somebody who is an adult, a fully functioning adult. It's been proven time and time again that men are the ones who benefit from marriage and relationships because we get in them and we do everything and they just get to sit back and receive everything from us. And then as a treat, as a treat, they might do something for our birthday or for Mother's Day. I just... Men get to exist in relationships and just receive. Why can't we exist together? And if we do nice things for each other, it's just organic. It just happens. But it's not the expectation. It's not something I have to do because I'm the woman. When I come home after a long day, I don't want to cook either. I don't want to do shit either. Why can't we flip a coin to see who cooks or if we order or we order food and then whoever cooks, the other person cleans. Why can't you pick up after yourself? Why can't you set your own appointments? Why do I have to be your secretary? I'm not working for you. I'm not working for you. I am. I have gotten so lazy. I'm not doing anything. And then there are men who will say, well, then what are you good for? What's the reason why someone should be with you? Huh? Huh? You're proving my point. You just want to be with somebody to do everything for you. I just, I want to be with a fully functioning adult male who we can come together and exist together, do fun stuff together. We take turns. We pull our own weight. And that seems to be unreasonable. (laughs) That that's un- asking someone to be an adult is unreasonable. I don't even want a cat. I don't even want a pet. I have a plant. I'll be a plant lady. I will be happy. I will not take care of a grown person. I won't. All right. So after watching this video, we have to discuss this. You know, we just have to talk about this. We have to talk about there is some hypocrisy that I heard in all of this. Now, let me say this before I start to rant about this. It is perfectly fine to have expectations of your partner. But it's something that I'm noticing a pattern within this generation of of women that they want a fully modern male, but to a certain extent, they still want to hold on to traditional values only when it benefits them. Now, hear me out before you turn off this video. Hear me out, okay? You have women who say that they want a man who is open-minded, that he will, will support whatever she does, even if it goes against traditional norms, this, that, and the third. They want to be, I am woman, hear me roar, and all of those things. But when it comes to their male counterpart, they want that man to be all of the traditional things that men used to be only with the modern mindset. So that means that they still expect for this man to pay for majority of the household, pay for majority of the bills. They say that they don't want a man that they have to take care of, but they have no problem having an expectation that the man is a walking ATM machine and he is expected to pay for your hair, your nails, uh, pay for dinner when you guys go out, pay for the meals, uh, pay for the movies, pay for the things that you guys do and take part in. And let's talk about holidays. Holidays. Uh, women have how many holidays that are celebrated and there's an expectation of gifts there? Let's say uh, Mother's Day, birthdays, anniversary, anniversaries, Valentine's Day, Sweetie's Day, which is actually supposed to be about men, but 
who gives a fuck about men nobody does shit for men nobody is buying their boyfriend's shit and a lot of women say well if i gotta buy a nigga something i'm not gonna be buying him something if i gotta buy him something then i i shit i'm dropping him because i'm not about to be paying for no grown man they're quick to say that but in the same breath they expect for this man to take care of them let's talk about expectations within the household a man can sit up here work more hours bring in more money but then when he comes home he's expected to fix everything in the house what about modernism what about uh modern day women women should be able to fix things on their own all these diys out here showcasing women being able to fix things that means that woman should be able to fix things without an issue or a complaint. But no, it's still expected. That man still needs to know what he is doing around the house and being able to fix stuff. Let's also talk about the the idea of you go out with your girlfriend, you go out with your wife, and it's expected for you to get out the car and pump the gas and put the air in the tires and all of those things. She's a fully capable functioning adult. But at the same time, if a man told her no, you need to get out the car and pump your own gas and do all of this that there would be there would be an issue with that not only would it be an issue from women complaining and griping about a man being around and a woman still has to do that but other men would say dude what is wrong with you you need to be the one getting out that car and pumping that gas and putting that air in that tire let's talk about cutting grass and doing all of those things yes i've seen women cutting grass but let's also be real when there is a man usually in the household it is an expectation that that man is going to be out there cutting that grass that's what he does and honestly and honestly there should be no complaints there shouldn't be no complaints because he shouldn't have to because you're a fully functioning adult and you're capable of doing these things just like he has to do these things. You're able to do it, but he takes on his role anyway because he knows that's what he agreed to when he was in the relationship with you because he cares for you. And this is an expectation. This is an expectation. And, and women still uphold certain expectations of men that are very traditional, but they want a modern twist only when it's beneficial to them. A woman should be comfortable with, you know, modernism when it comes to having to shovel snow. But you don't see a lot of women out there shoveling the snow. If they have a man in the household, guess who is out there shoveling that snow? And if it's not the man that's in the household shoveling the snow, the kids, if they have children that are old enough, will be out there shoveling the snow before you see a wife out there doing it. Because women still want to uphold traditionalism only when it benefits them and if a man made the same type of video about how they want a fully functioning adult that is capable of doing this 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 and this by themselves don't ask me it would be a bunch of women bitching and complaining that this man is not a gentleman and girl that's a bunch of red flags you need to run the other way never look back because he dares to have the same expectations that you have on him Let's let's just just think about that. And when you're in a relationship with someone, it is no longer about what you do and what they do, because if so, you could just be a single person. What she said, she has opted out of being in a relationship because she don't care. She don't care. But you have a lot of women who carry this mentality and they think that it's all right. You know, they will criticize what a man is supposed to do in a relationship. But God forbid that man expresses his needs and what he needs in a relationship from you and his expectations in a relationship from you. And then you think that he's being sexist. Then we want to complain about upholding the patriarch. Then we want to complain about that. But no, it doesn't work that way. You need to be willing to take care of your partner just like they're willing to take care of you. A woman still expects for a man to lay his body on the line without hesitation for her, but she's allowed to only give him bits and pieces of herself because of womanhood and women's empowerment, which makes absolutely no sense. So when a man says, then why the hell am I with you? What am I gaining from this? A man does not gain anything in a relationship really he's gaining another person that he has to take care of because there's not a lot of women that are willing to take care of a grown man but it's been expected since the very beginning of time not only by men but by women that when a man is in the picture 
he is now somewhat responsible for your well-being. If you like this video, make sure to thumbs it up and I'm out. Thanks for watching.